Sagittarius. A Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Ooh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Out Sagittarius. Sagittarius. What's up, baby? What's up? What's going on in the life of a Saggy between mid month August to the thirty first? Are y'all getting y'all mind made the hell up on what y'all want to do? Are y'all making some moves? Are y'all walking in your authentic selves? That's never an issue with Sagittarius because for the most part, y'all going to keep it R-E-A-L. But some of us having an issue with staying stagnant and you know you got somewhere to be, Sag. Get to where you got to be. For some of y'all, you feel like you're not getting justice in a soulmate relationship or a twin flame partnership. Those of you who feel that way slightly have, could slightly have, I'm feeling that, um, a deep-rooted abandonment issue, okay? A lot of y'all might be having issues with your family during this time or the way that you believe, okay, the things that you believe in and the perspective that you're having, okay? What was that, Terry? Y'all energy is booming, okay? So we're going to get into it. This is for my sun, moon, rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Ooh, what's up, Saggy baby? All right. So um, I don't like long intros. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. For those of you, if this is your first time to my channel, hey, boo, hey. How are you? Um, for those of you who are new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We don't judge. We we cry. We cuss. You know, we uplift, we enlighten, we encourage, all right? We push forward. We evolve. We grow, okay? So this ain't the place for that negative shit. We don't do it, all right? Even if I'm giving some not-so-great news, we're going to make you smile with it <laughs> because that's just what I do. That's on me, babe. That's what I do, okay? So... <laughs> we rocking. Um, Sagittarius, of course, this is not a personal reading. It's a general. I do have reading specials going on right now. Y'all find that. Check that video out. I did not make another one. Y'all just extend the date out to the 20th for those of you who got to go back and go watch it. But I'm definitely available to do your readings. I got a special. Getting in on saving that money, okay? All right. So, also, um, Sag, this is the time of the read. Like, revealing, all right? Which brings me to your first angel message. From the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards, the Green Virtue. You guys pull amethyst. For those of you who are into crystal work during this time, a lot of y'all have been popping with this amethyst stone. It's literally been screaming at you because it's a it's a level of connectivity that you need to have the amethyst stone in order to heal. Your intuition is very keen. Trust what you feel, Sagittarius. Okay. This amethyst says revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. This card comes to you to reassure that it's safe to be real and authentic with others. <laughs> so y'all was beating me up, I told you. You will feel much better when you reveal your true feelings, even if others don't understand. Bottling them up isn't healthy, nor is it effective. Remember that people can disagree and still love each other, provided that they treat the relationship with respect. If they, I'm sorry, if you have been teased for being different, you may fear revealing your true self. Your guardian angel is assuring you that you are unique, created for a special purpose, and you will find your special purpose by revealing your uniqueness. Your guardian angels love you unconditionally and knows who you really are. But, I'm sorry, what your dreams are and what you're capable of. Be sure to call upon God and your guardian angels to boost your confidence and learn to love yourself as they love you. This card is also a sign for you to complete a project that's from your heart, such as writing a book or song, creating an artistic piece, or starting a business that will help others. Pray for courage and to be led to trustworthy, helpful people who will honor and support your journey. So I feel like a lot of, right now, Sag, some of y'all are pulling away from people who can't put no damn respect on it, period, point blank, okay? I do feel that right now a lot of y'all are having faith, possibly with a situation with an air sign. It's funny that you got reveal your true self. Some of y'all have someone in your energy, either it's you who... Uh, who have been kind of not wanting to see a certain situation, okay? But during the 15th to the 31st of August, baby, you're going to see. Okay, this person, you see how they blindfolded? This woman doesn't want to see a certain situation, but you're going to see it. You see the butter, you see the dragonflies around her? They symbolize, they let you know the change is on the way. Change is coming, baby. So you are going to see it. For a lot of y'all, you're going to take off your mask. This is about revealing your authentic self, okay? This could be you or someone in your energy. A lot of y'all are having strong faith during this time, okay? A lot of you guys know that someone is a life partner. Someone, for some of y'all, is a twin flame, okay? For some of y'all, it's a soulmate. And 
it's you're needing to balance the um that event i'm sorry that masculine and that feminine energy because right now a lot of y'all third eyes literally pouring out information to you you're receiving downloads left and right and you will be during this time a lot of y'all will receive those downloads while in nature but you're needing to stay centered spirit is helping you to get centered during this time um, a lot of y'all could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? This person fulfills you. They're very nurturing. You look at this person and you have strong desire for them, but you can't miss something about it. Maybe it's deep-rooted trust issues or maybe this person left you in the past and you're living in the fear that they're going to leave again out of maybe a karmatic situation that maybe you've done to someone else. Um, some of y'all are literally scared that people are going to be y'all karma, so you don't want to make decisions in love and moving forward. You cannot live in that fear, Sagittarius. The universe is not going to allow you to. You have to reveal your authentic self and truly love from a whole place that I'm feeling. Okay? A lot of y'all are dealing with an earth sign um, who could possibly be the father of your children. This is Capricorn towards Virgo. This person has gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. They're seeing things differently. This person has had to go through a period. If this person left you before, this person had to go through a period of grounding themselves. Okay? And this person during this time will possibly be pretty stern, but they actually want to ground the relationship, nurture what you have, and actually move forward with you. For some of y'all, you definitely going into a twin flame union during this time, okay? But it came during it's gonna come during the time of centeredness, okay? Uh some of y'all are definitely embracing love, but it's hard for you to love from an authentic place because you really don't want to fully, fully let someone in so you're still having your guard up during situations, okay? We're trying to get some light up in here, but First sun went from this shining real bright on the kids to deciding they didn't want to shine it out. It's starting to try and get dark in my neighbor's house. Maybe. I'm not even going to get on it, okay? But we rocking, all right? So, let's rock. During this time, Sag, you can. A lot of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini. Some of y'all have a, situ a faith in a situation with a Gemini, okay? I feel like you feel like you're not receiving justice and love with this person okay i feel like there's some karmatic situations either with you or around this person possibly with their past i feel like there's shared responsibilities with someone okay possibly from your past or with this person's past that you feel like maybe preventing you guys or preventing your um preventing preventing your union but what's happening is that both of you have to be centered in order to move forward but some of y'all is definitely a twin flame so don't think well, like, don't think at, don't look at it like what the universe is doing to me, yet what the universe is doing for me. Okay, let's let's get it. Some of y'all are having to walk away from situations that are possibly going to try to resurrect themselves. Okay, some of y'all could could be walking away from a Scorpio as well during this time and started something new with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or some of y'all who've been having financial blocks since you've been dealing with a Scorpio, this new moon energy that just hit y'all, this new moon in Leo that just hit, during that Pisces full moon, that next one, for some of y'all, y'all going to be resurrecting a family situation as and in, in, in offering a stable beginning and moving forward to materialize something solid. This could be with a Scorpio. This could also be with a Virgo. This could also uh, mean some of y'all are going to be leaving jobs. If you just left the job during this time, you're going to get a new one. It's going to pay way damn more. You have to have faith. Blind faith is going to bring you blessings. Kind of what I told Aquarius. Okay, please show me. This is just for Sagittarius between August the 15th and the 31st. Okay, you need to see. That is, yeah, some of y'all. Some of y'all want to move towards um, a younger water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, but you need to have faith in that union, okay? For some of y'all, it's a new relationship, okay? Some of y'all could definitely be receiving truth and clarity, possibly from a Leo, or or offering truth and clarity to a situation, okay, in order to renew love in it. For some of y'all, you literally have renewed love coming back from your past, possibly with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In the past, I feel like this person was dishonest with you. This could be someone who um, you could be married to. Maybe y'all are married but separated, okay? I do see that this person is going to come back and balance things out. They want to start over. Uh, this could be how you're feeling or the other person, but I definitely feel strong air energy in this thing. Some of y'all could be welcoming new children. Congratulations, boo. Mocha love the kids. <laughs> Some of y'all want to nurture a situation or nurture a relationship. Um, 
with someone who you possibly have kids with and you coming forward during this time to communicate that. I feel like you're walking away from the way that you used to do things, the way that you used to look at things. Your perspective is shifted, Sagittarius. You are walking into that expansion mode. All right, life purposes. Some of y'all are, uh, during this time, you're going to be seeing some of your ancestors. Do not be afraid. Um, they're going to be helping you to guide you to move you during this time to kind of accelerate your journey a little faster because I feel like for some of y'all, y'all needing this little key map. So be very receptive to your downloads as well as your ancestry coming to you in dreams trying to help you fix, uh, fix a situation. I'm having a strong, strong emphasis on someone who could be a grandfather or a mother. Okay. Some of y'all feel... Like you want to offer someone love, okay? This water sign, this water sign. Maybe you make this person feel rejected or maybe you feel rejected by this person. Or this could also be in a family situation like someone left you out. Okay, and it, it was definitely caused to a third party, okay? Some of y'all could have found out, will be finding out that you were in a third party situation with a Taurus or Virgo, Capricorn. Strong emphasis on the Capricorn, okay? This person definitely uh, can offer you stability, but for some of y'all, they can't keep their thing in their pants. They can't keep, they can't stop throwing that thing back. Whatever, okay? You know what the hell I'm trying to say. Y'all know, read between the lines, because I don't know if your kids listening. But we, don't, we can't talk like that with the babies, not on my dime. We ain't going to do that. Nobody got time for that, okay? So, I do see somebody who uh, possibly put you in a third party situation, possibly another fire sign or air sign. Um, this person is going to be coming forth, and maybe you're moving forward toward this person, Okay. And someone is going to want to offer something solid. This could also be uh, offering. Y'all, some of y'all have a twin flame soulmate life partner. You know as such. That is a cancer. You've been waiting for this person to come back and offer this new beginning or open up, be receiving to you offering this to them. And here it is. They're going to be receiving. And y'all are going to be able to move forward. But it's about how you look at things. Some of y'all are definitely going to be receiving an apology in order to let um Receiving or giving, because I do see receiving and giving an apology in order to uh, move things in a swift manner with someone who you have children with. I see that strongly. Some of y'all will be cutting off a water sign as well. Some of y'all will be gaining a water sign. Some of y'all are going to be cutting off a water sign, especially if this person is younger than you. I feel like <laughs> during this time of downloads, goodness. Some of y'all can find out that this person is treacherous as fuck. Some of y'all going to find out that you've been dealing with an air sign who got. A water sign on the side from their past. And intuitively you felt this within their vibrations. Or you felt it. Maybe you've seen it in a dream. You asked this person. And they was lying in the past. But now they want to offer you something solid. But they know they got to come forward telling, telling the truth. For some of y'all it's a Libra. Um, I do see some of y'all move forward. Some of y'all possibly in a family situation. You're going to go back. You're going to apologize. This person could apologize to you. You can move. You have two options, two paths, Sadie. You can move forward, focus on your money, and it's going to be looking really pretty, okay? This lady is beautiful looking at her and shit. She ain't worried about, ain't worried about nothing. We ain't worried about nothing. She ain't worried about shit, okay? She's not going to be not gonna be worried about anything, and then boom, here come your Libra wanting to offer you a new beginning, okay? Move Moving forward, okay? After all the cards is laid on the table. Some of y'all are welcoming in a baby. After possibly separating from somebody who you were married with. Okay, congratulations again. I'm a lot of kids. But something, in order for something new to start, something has to be revisited from the past for a lot of you. And it's just to clear the karma. You can't go into something newness, especially something that's divine newness with no damn baggage. It's not going to happen. My spirit, why is the Ace of Swords here for Sagittarius? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Ooh, sad. They, they want to yell at y'all today. Yeah, I feel like someone is going to possibly get angry during this time. Hair sign, possibly, or uh, maybe in the past somebody got mad and yelled out some about your kids. That's why Luke John John ain't your way, your fucking kid anyway. And honestly, said just left you feeling a little neglected or rejected, you know. And I feel like you left this person ass out, and I feel like you're feeling bad about it now because now you're realizing that was my person, okay? And you wanting to go back and offer this person love, but you know, they know the truth is going to have to be revealed about it because they let their anger and their emotions get the best of them, whoever this air sign was. But you're very passionate about this person. Some of y'all are very passionate about a Leo from your past. You, Some of y'all are going to resurrect the situation that you thought was dead or have a Leo coming forward to try and resurrect the situation that you 
You thought this shit was dead, dead, dead. But here they come trying to offer you something solid. And they ain't coming. Funny thing is, Sadie, they ain't coming jacked up either. They coming right. Trust your intuition. Intuitively, y'all know. <laughs> Some of y'all are going to move forward possibly with a fire sign. Okay, possibly after healing from an air sign or a water sign. All right, I do feel like. Some of y'all want this family dynamic possibly with the Pisces, okay? And you're going to be moving forward. Some of y'all are going to get what y'all want. But truth and clarity has to be revealed first. And y'all got to learn how to, somebody got to learn how to talk to you, Sagittarius, because I feel like this is external. Some of y'all have uh, been waiting on this Aquarius to come in. This person is the person of your dreams. This is the person who you want to spend the rest of your life with. You see this person as the mother of your children. Some of y'all do have children with this person. Some of y'all possibly thought you had a bunch of options when out there and found out they was all, you was kissing frogs and ain't shit, okay? So you walking away. You want to water your own damn grass or somebody in your energy want to water their own damn grass, daddy. And for some of y'all, having this person back, it's what you've always been wishing for or reuniting with this person. For some of y'all, it's a Taurus. Some of y'all who are dealing with a Taurus, you're going to be cutting that person off during this time. You have love for that person, but some of y'all are going to be finding out that person is married. If you already knew that that person was married, maybe they've been kind of indecisive, not making a decision, which you don't know is that they've already made a decision. They just haven't told you their decision. Them, that Taurus is not getting divorced. Spirit said that's the 20% of y'all. Jeez. Right. In the past, maybe you feel like you didn't get justice in a situation, or maybe justice won't be going your favor, going in your favor with a situation having to do with a child. Some of y'all said it's going to be finding out someone in your energy, some baby is not theirs, or if someone was denying a child, they're going to find out this child is theirs. Okay, why is the four of cups here? And it's going to make somebody feel very, because I'm feeling, as soon as I said it, I'm feeling the energy of regret and remorseful because you definitely you never lost love for this person you've been internally fighting yourself for some of y'all for five months five years but you definitely have loved this person you've been internally fighting yourself because i feel like you love this child okay but for some of y'all who have denied a child and you're gonna find out it's yours you can definitely that ten of pentacles is definitely on your path, but it's definitely about ascending, being truthful, growing and evolving with this person and this person being able to be accepting and want to do the same because I feel like even though there's love there, you tell you guys whoever this is that you guys got a strong telepathic connection. I feel like the law of attraction is definitely in place. Like I feel like some of y'all have obsessive thoughts or dreams about someone because they're doing the same about you for some of y'all it's an Aries okay but some of y'all are going to move back towards your past and you're going to make someone a very solid offer okay for some of y'all you're going to have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn younger than you possibly Jack they probably fucked up in the past I'm gonna tell you but some of y'all this person is not giving you the offer that you want so you're going to move forward and it's funny because some of y'all who are moving forward you could possibly move right forward into a Leo all right, and this person is looking real nice, Sag, if you must know. Some of y'all are going to get y'all canceled, Pisces, Scorpio, but you have to take care of things, move away from situations, people from your past who you know want to bring karmatic situations going forward on your journey to happiness. All right, either they ass is going to be a liability or asset. All right, but you're definitely going to be moving away. For some of y'all, you're going to be moving back towards and moving away from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because this person is burdensome. I feel like you've been carrying the burden trying to make things work because of mistakes that was done in your past. And you try, some of y'all have a fear of being alone. You just don't want to be alone. So maybe you take this person's shit and be stagnant and stay in a situation that you know you're unhappy in. But this, during this time of authenticity, my darlings, you're definitely going to be communicating how the fuck you feel, the truth, your honest to God feelings, because to be honest, you've been in this energy. I don't know if I want to move forward with this shit or drop the damn burdens. A lot of y'all dropping them damn burdens and moving forward to your path of happiness, whatever that may be. After possibly a, a situation where you feel totally betrayed or stabbed in the back or left someone else feeling this way because you want to go chase your passions or towards someone you're passionate about. But some of y'all again, that damn Leo. And you want to work it out, work through the toxic energy that's been there in the past, okay? That maybe you break the bondage feeling from a relationship, okay? Going into something without the codependency. Some of y'all going to be working it out with a Capricorn during this time as well, right? Some of y'all are going to be starting new jobs, but whatever this may be, you are the magician, my baby. It's your world. Do what the hell you want to do. Do what's best for you. 
And don't live in nobody else's truth. Walk in your own damn truth. Real shit's not easy. You figure deal me? Okay? Can't nobody tell a Saggy shit. Because a Saggy's still going to do what a Saggy want to do. And that is, that's what, that's the beauty that you bring to other people's energy. Authenticity. So you have to live it to be ordered to receive it. To be ordered. To be, a, hold on, let me tell y'all something. Mercury and Mocha is not going together right now. Eminem ain't hidden today. I, it's not, it's really not. So y'all excuse me because this retrograde been on my ass as far as my throat chakra. Okay, but I will say, um, y'all, Heal it. This is a very healing time. You can take it or you can leave it. But for some of y'all, for a lot of y'all, spirits say for about 70% of y'all, you can't move forward until this is taken care of. And the karmic skills are balanced. Because therefore, you're going to walk away balanced. Therefore, dropping them damn burdens so you can live your life the way that you're supposed to be living it. And to send the way that it's working for you with the person who you're supposed to be with. Don't try to force shit. And don't try to make nobody stay who ain't worth being killed. Okay? I love y'all. This has been y'all mid-month generals for the month of August. If you need that personal, hit me up. I love y'all babies. Toodley. Bye. -bye.